Not a long time ago, we got the NPCs in TSG, and we already got sneak peeks for the next update which honestly, isn't going to be that difficult to code, but it's going to bring a lot of new content to grind for. A few days ago, Undone asked the community in his Discord server, if they have ideas for new badges. Those badges are going to give you exclusive cosmetics when completing, and there were quite a few suggestions, some of them more grindy than others, but there were some really nice ones. And today, Undone sent a screenshot of a lot of new badges. They are already in the badges category under the game. So, we can look them up there. We're going to get at least 11 new badges. I gonna show you all of them and explain those that aren't clear anyway. So, let's start with the first one. It's called This World is Flat. Well yeah, the TSG map is actually flat lol. So, you gotta reveal he whole map on your mini map. It has to look like this in the end. Which is cleaner anyway. I did this at the first time I used the map lol. So, this is a badge which I'm going to get instantly when joining the updated game I guess. Next one, Cold Blooded. You have to stay 10 in game days in the Antarctica. That is 100 minutes, which is over one hour and a half. I think I'm going to build a castle on my private server while completing this. Next one is hot blooded. Same thing, but at the volcano. And only seven days, which is a bit over an hour. You gonna have to take a lot of food with you to do this. I recommend you to already farm something like 10,000 cabbage. If you don't need all of them for this badge, you can use them to feed the NPCs. By the way, we're so close to 2,000 subscriber. It's insane. So make sure to subscribe to this channel right now to never miss out on any of my content. I really try my best to deliver you guys the best quality of videos I can do. So thanks for all of this insane support. All right, next badge, the People United. You have to place down 100 NPCs in total. So, you have to spend at least 1,000 coins. Make sure to farm that. The next one's name is a bit complicated lol. Every cent has a past, every sinner a future. You gotta play the game for 30 minutes without attacking anyone or anything. Including players, animals, bosses and NPCs, as it seems. The next two new badges are about rebirths. The first one is called Equal to None and is given to you as soon as you have every single rebirth perk. Which isn't too difficult if you watched my rebirths video. I gave some pretty good tips and tricks there. If you haven't yet, I would definitely recommend you to watch that. Anyway, next one is called Olympian. 250 rebirths. That's basically impossible lol. I only know one person who has achieved that. That's insane, not gall a lie. But kinda awesome too, that cosmetic item is going to be extremely limited. That's going to be the biggest flex in all of TSG, I believe. Alright, the next one should be a thing since they released the fishing update. Update video about that one linked in the top right corner. If you didn't watch that yet by the way. But it's about fishing your first fish. It's called Fish Fear Me. Makes sense. Next one is about fishing again. Captain Ahab's Revenge. I had to Google who Captain Ahab even is. It's a fictional character who works as the captain on a whaling ship. One day, a white whale bit off Ahab's leg. So, the name of that badge only makes sense considering the quest to do is fishing 20 whales which isn't that bad with a dark steel fishing rod, I guess. Last new badges for now. They might add more in the next few days. If they did so, i probably gonna make shorts about them or maybe post it in my community tab. And of course, in my Discord server. Join that by clicking on the link in the description. Alright, Human Torch is the name of the second last one. You have to defeat another player with a torch. I don't know if you have to only damage him with the torch or if you only have to deal the last hit with a torch. Gonna test that out in the update video about this next update. If that one is out yet, it's linked in the top right corner. What are you doing here, the by the way lol? Why are you watching leaks if the update is already out? I mean thank you, but yeah lol. 
All right, last one. I believe I can fly. You need to survive a fall from at least 180 studs. I actually hoped into Roblox Studio and made a 180 studs high tower to demonstrate how tall this is. If you can do it with a horse, then it's easy since you don't take fall damage on a horse. But if you have to jump into the water, I hope it doesn't glitch you to the ground and kill you. Well, we're going to find out. Watch this tutorial, linked here, if you want to know how to customize your spawn screen on your private server to get something cool looking as this and like the video. If you haven't yet, thanks for watching and bye, subscribe.